Hello, everybody. Steve Politti joined by Tom Lucci, Rutgers beat writer. Tom, I've given you some grief over your picks. You got one right. I've got, I just got a little something for you here. Should I open it now? You should open it now, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Just you know, to, I, I am on a, uh, the same role that Rutgers is on. We're both on one, one game. One one game, game. Week. See? I did it. You did, yep. I did I, it. Very good. Okay. Congratulations. You picked UConn to lose. You this, said Rutgers would have that offensive explosion. They certainly did score 12 points in that 12 10. A lot of this is guilt pangs. You have to admit it because your, your closing comment was when you picked Connecticut, you said, I've been paying yeah, attention. I know, I mean, absolutely. Well, right. so, uh, no, it was a good, listen, it was a good win for them. They needed the win. Uh, it didn't matter that uh, Greg had to put an extra coat of paint on the goalpost and the uprights. Yes, it was close. So that, it was uh, close. you know, the kid clanked another one off the uprights, but you take a win any way you can get it. Now, uh, the team that some people picked to win the Big East has finally won its first <laughs> East game. That's a very good point. <laughs> uh, and they did it in a way, I think it's, in, you know, the way they're playing defense now, you have something you can hang your hat on with the team because, you know, this, they actually yeah. look very good defensively. Uh, they, had, they played possession football. They had them down the goal line. Could have had three safeties. Came away with one safety was the margin of the game. What's changed defensively about this team? Well, it's, you know what's funny about it is that nationally, if you look at the statistics, they're not ranked that high, but for some reason they've, they've risen to the challenge of stopping these marquee backs. That's been the first thing. I think the maturity has finally kicked in. Listen, there were seven starters, senior starters, back on that defense. Right. It had to be good at some point because it has been good in the past. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the maturity and the, and, you know, and the experience is finally kicking in. I think guys are, are playing a little more to their potential. We're seeing fewer big plays you know, happen. We saw a couple in the past game, but... You know, when you commit that many people to the run to stop Donald Brown, you're going to have, give up some big pass plays. But, uh, yeah, I think now the thing is they have to get some turnovers. Right. They still haven't produced any turnovers on defense in six of the seven games. And on the, on the flip side of that, the offense has to start scoring. Which is amazing to think you, have, you can't get a turnover in six of that. Why? What? Is there any reason for that? Is it luck? Is it, is it co I mean, there's something about it's, that that's <laughs> considering a, a couple years ago they were very good in that, in that category. No, it's, you know, and I'm at practice every day, and, and they practice it. You see them tearing the ball out. You see them work on uh, interception drills. Uh, you see all of that. The, the, you know, the, the quarterback drills where they try and bang the ball out of the, out of the hand of the quarterback. I mean, they work on it every single day. I, it's one of those quirky things where you say six games, no turnovers. The only four have come against Morgan State. You can't explain it. I think at some point it just becomes, you know, people are pressing. And they have. You know, they've had a couple opportunities, Steve. I mm -hmm. mean, it's not like they've had no opportunities. They've had a few. West Virginia put the ball on the ground three times. They couldn't get it. Uh, we've seen defensive backs drop a couple of sure interceptions. So that has to change if they're going to beat Pittsburgh. And the other thing that has to change is the offense – has to start producing right. more than one touchdown a game. And at least, you know, the offense is not f committing any turnovers now. Mike Teal, three straight games without interception. That's the only one positive I see from the offense right now, which, yeah. again, looks, you know, a, only one I, touchdown on a 37-yard yard drive. I, I mean, would, what, what's got to change there? And Pittsburgh's defense has played relatively well this year, so it, what's got to change for Rutgers? Well, Mike has to throw a touchdown pass, but I wonder, and I'm no, I know everybody would shoot this down, I wonder if he's so concerned about throwing interceptions that he's not throwing touchdown passes because he's not making those high-risk throws that can result in touchdowns. When you throw it up for grabs, you have your great wide receivers go up and get it. So, you know, yes, he's not throwing any interceptions. At the same time, he's not, he's not throwing touchdown passes. So that's been a wash. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. They, they need to get some – they need a little more life again out of Dom Natale. Right. You know, I thought he showed something. Uh, you saw him. He gave, he gave the offense a little spark with his feet. You know, they can float the pocket with him. He can, he can throw on the run. Uh, he just seems to inject a little life in there. That they're, they're, I'm not meaning. sure. It, you think he's more than one possession in the first half and the second half? I mean, is, it, is it the point now where it's a platoon situation? I still think that he didn't show enough to me that I thought he deserved to be the starter yet, certainly. I think Greg Schiano agrees. What, where do you yeah. think he, he fits in the offense? I, I, think, you know, I think they're going to they're gonna have to play more than one series. Right. I, I think that's the bottom line. He, you know, he gives them some life. He gives them a dimension Mike doesn't offer. You have to play them a couple of series, two, three, whatever it might be. All right, you're rolling. Pittsburgh, I think probably the best team in the Big East right now, if you look at it, uh, you know, heading toward that a chance for the BCS spot. Your prediction, sir? I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I think Rutgers is going to have a chance to win at the end. Mm -hmm. But I think this is the end of the ball hopes, 20-14 to 14 Pittsburgh. 20-14 to 14 Pittsburgh. I'm going to go with Rutgers this week. I wow. think this is the week that could break through to get some turnovers. Are you I'm trying to get on a six-game losing streak? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I want a card from you next week. You will get it if Rutgers beats Pittsburgh. 28-20, <laughs> Rutgers victory. That's a lot of points. That's what I, I tell you what. Wow. And it could rain. rain. It could be it a really sloppy day. And, yeah, uh, and I, You're talking me out of it. Before, before okay. you do, let me no, say. Go ahead with let it. Sign <laughs> let me sign off. I can afford the card. <laughs> Steve Politti, Tom Lucci, thanks for watching.